Hey everyone, I'm Johnny Penn, and today on The Writer's Life, I'm going to be talking about the writing environment and the muse. And no, unfortunately, I don't, have, I don't have a script for this, but I will try to keep my likes and ums to a minimum. Basically, the writing environment is the place where a writer writes the best. And for me, that's my bedroom. It's kind of messy right now, so I have to clean it up. But I figured I'd make a video and yeah pause I'm wearing my summer robe because in my part of the country it's uh, getting to be fall almost but not quite there yet um, and it's kind of cool but hot at the same time you know so my heavier robe doesn't it just doesn't work and yes, this is for a reason. The reason is because I don't always look professional and I'm at an, or kooky or whatever. And most of the time i in my pajamas, so not sexy lingerie. I mean like PJ bottoms and a top with a bra on underneath um, because I like to be comfortable and that helps me to write. I was listening to Maureen Lafferty once and she said, put on pants when you write. Treat it like a job. Um, I tried and it didn't work. I just bleh. so um I changed. I was like, eh, yeah, that doesn't work for me. And and that's the thing. Um, uh, when I listen to other podcasts or read stuff online, I take it as suggestions that I should try, and um, and not as rules. So while she's all wear pants and go to work and and all that yeah yeah no I, I can't do that so I just I'm going to be comfortable I'm sorry now the jeans aren't uncomfortable but some but most of the time I don't feel like wearing them um so yeah that and with my writing environment um I also can't write in other places like the kitchen or the sitting room or the dining room because it's not my space. Somehow being in my own space helps me to do that. I, I, I don't know if that works. I mean, sometimes I will go some other place if I feel like like I need to. Um, but most of the time that doesn't like work and stuff. And say hello kitty! This is my dad's cat. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, yes. I love you. Um, so, yes. I also have a um, tea, and you can see my coffee maker in the background over here. Yeah, that's my coffee maker. No, no, no. Sorry. Okay, I'll stop being goofy. Um, the, the, the funny thing with the coffee maker is I didn't used to have one in my bedroom and then I was going to get married and stuff but I broke up with them. That's not the point of the story. The point of the story is that my is that my fian my ex fiance didn't like coffee. He liked tea. And I like coffee. I drink a shit ton of coffee. And I um have more than one cup, so a one cup dispenser thing won't work because that would waste too much coffee. You know, um so I usually make 10 cups and have like half in the morning and then sometimes I'll like drink the rest in the evening or I'll uh, or, or in the afternoon or in, in the evening or have the rest of it the next morning and then make a new pot. That's how um, my family has always done it because my dad's a big coffee drinker too. And so my fiance is like, oh no, we don't need a big ass coffee maker, blah, 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 don't buy one. And so I complained to my mom. I was like, mom, I need a, a coffee maker. Even if he doesn't use it, I will use it. So, you know, I was like, I, I told her that I thought I was being stupid. I was going to get a coffee maker whether he liked it or not. And so she was all, oh, hey, I have one you can have. So I had that coffee maker, and um, I finally said, I was like, look, I know you don't like coffee, but I like coffee. I drink a lot of it, and I'm not going to change a habit of mine just because you don't like it. I was like, as a married couple, we need to like live with each other, because he had habits that I didn't like, but I, uh, yeah, let's not go into that. That's a very bitter story. 
And so my thing is, like, look, we have to live with each other, and this means that I like coffee, and I'm not asking you to drink it. But you know what? My family likes coffee. We have friends who like coffee. We need a big coffee pot so that when people come over, I'm not always constantly making coffee. I have a big coffee pot that I can make, like, once or twice if it's a long visit or something. Um... So that was finally what got him around to the whole coffee pot idea, even though I wasn't going to change my mind. And to be honest, that coffee maker actually made bad coffee. And I don't know what was wrong with it. This one, um, I haven't made coffee in this one yet, but I make tea in it because it's easier than coffee and it doesn't, like, smell up the place and my parents don't complain. Um, so I just um, make a big pot and usually I can drink a pot in the day. Sometimes I don't and I have to go and wash it out. But it's really nice having a coffee pot. Um, especially for writing, because sometimes I just need to, like, get up and move around, and, like, getting, um, tea and stuff is, like, um, or, or I need to think, and it's nice to have an, a cup of my favorite tea on, on hand, or second favorite tea, or whatever, and be all, hmm, what should I torture my characters with next? You know, so, yeah, so that's, that's one of my things I like to do, um, snacks also, but I try to relegate it to healthy snacks, because, Writing is a sedentary life. And I should be getting up more and exercising more, and um, I've tried to do that this summer. It hasn't worked out um, as much. Uh, but, yeah, i try to, like, take a walk or something, and um, or, like, get on the treadmill or something, um, just because it does help the mind as much as it helps the body. And I should do that more than I am. Um, I usually pace or I go and I clean or something because I'm, I clean the house. So when I'm stuck on a project and I don't know where to go from there, I'll like go and vacuum or I'll go clean the bathrooms or I'll go dust or something. And then I'll come back and sometimes I have something, sometimes I don't. So it's like one of those things. Um, or I'll cook. No, I can't cook. I bake. No, I like to bake sweets. Um, which is also bad. So, um, okay, that's the writing environment, and I'll talk more about getting over writer's block in another video message, maybe. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh yeah, the muse. I don't believe in the muse as an entity of people that existed thousands and thousands of years ago, or as spiritual beings that will come and give me inspiration. Um, I use Muse as a euphemism for inspiration. So when I say, oh, the Muse has left me, that means I'm not inspired to write the story at the moment. So you might not get an update. Um, but sometimes I will be very much inspired, and I will read or uh, write more than one chapter to a story. And uh, sometimes that, that happens, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends on the story and how interested I am. Most of the time I find that I'm not being... Um, inspired is when the story has gotten bored or I've gotten bored with the story. So that's one thing about, um, and I'll go into more detail later, um, but when I get bored with the story, that usually means that I'm just bored and I need to find something more exciting. And sometimes the story can get boring. And so if, if the story is boring, um, I usually try to go back and see where the problems lie and where I can, like, change it so that it's not boring because, um, if I get bored with a story, my readers are going to get bored with the story. Um, which a beginning writer, like myself, shouldn't do because I read a Stephen King novel. I can't even remember what it was, but it was boring as hell. I was so bored with that book. But it's Stephen King, and I guess um, it was one of his later books, um, and he was a very popular author. And I kind of figure that a popular author like Stephen King can't afford to be boring, where a novice author like myself can't, because I'm still trying to learn all that stuff, and I'm still trying to build a fan base, and I'm still trying to, like, get people to read my fanfic, and then I'm trying to talk them into reading my original fic. And my original fic can't be boring. I can't be all, oh, I'm, I'm so awesome. I'm like Stephen King, so I can write boring shit. Well, no, I can't. I'm not Stephen King. I'm not popular as an author, um, maybe in some circles online, maybe. Um, but my original stuff, I only have one original book that's been published, and I'm trying to finish a dark 
poetry book. And so, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm still a beginner in the publishing world. So I can't afford for my stuff to be boring. I need to keep the suspense up. I need to keep the, I need to keep it exciting. And so, um, mostly when I'm uninspired, that means I've gotten bored with the story and I need to go back and, uh, edit or rewrite it or find, um, a new plot idea that I can put in that will make the story interesting. Um, yeah, so that's mostly the problem. Okay, so I think that's the end of this video. Uh, let's hope it gets, um, processed, because the other one wasn't processing, so I made it a new one. And, yeah, say bye. Say bye. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.